got ice cream and my chops. Just pushed boat out and had a magnum. Not had one in years. And the day today is the day. Just in Horton in the Ribbleside. Uh, Dumpenny Ghent, which is behind me. Got me gimbal to turn for me. Penigent is that, so I went up uh, the path you can see about the middle there, just over these telegraph wires. I went up there, come down this steep ascent, and now, uh, say, in Horton. in Middleside. And uh, heading up for Ingleborough. I'd be back in Iceland. North Yorkshire's got Blue Lagoon. It was most warm in there though. Just turn this one, I think. Just rolled 13 miles, 7 hours, 13 minutes. So just uh, come over all that lot. Oh, Penny Ghent down that shoulder, down into that village, down there. Can't see it probably on GoPro to be fair. And uh, now coming up here. On the way to Ingleborough. Which is uh, a bit of a climb again, to say the least. But, Get that one done if no tilt. Come from that way, Horton in Ribbleside, one mile downhill, and now heading left uh, on the Yorkshire Three Peaks, Ingleborough, three and a half miles. Oh, that's just getting up here, then you've got to get down it. Well, this morning I passed a fell runner running up the path up the centre of Penigant. As I was going up onto that path there, he ran past me, chatting away, like you do. Carried on up to the top, up to the trig point at Penny Gant, come back down and pass me again as I was nearing the top. And I've just passed, <laughs> I've just passed him again, still running. So I'm guessing he's already he's gone up Penny Gant, gone down up Wernside, come down, gone up Ingleborough, which is where I'm now heading to. So he's done about twenty, well. He's obviously done about 20 miles a minute, whereas I'm just coming up to my 14 miles in 7 hours 39 minutes. It fell under the next level. Or oh, nuts. A little bit of both. Yeah, next signpost. Horton in Ribbleside, the village, 2 miles. Ingleborough to my left, 2.5 miles. Up. Limestone pavement kind of deal, a bit like Malam, but that's compact, a bit more spread out. I think I've made my mind up that I'm bugging out when I uh, hit the road at Ingleborough, below Ingleborough, up and down it. Down that 
come all the way up here and then get the reveal side there's a bit of traffic jam hardly moving but either way 16 miles eight hours 55 minutes getting a reef so yeah so I've got a bit up to the top of Ingleborough drop down to the other side get to the road and then bug out to the car and plenty of little breaks on this one I don't normally, and normally this thing gave me in front of me, I'd be up like a rat up a drain pipe. But 16 miles in on a hot sunny day, not so much. I'll get up it, but there'll be no drain pipes involved. I want to get to the top, I've got to get down to the side. I'm not sure off the top of my head until I get to the top when I look at it, how far that is. Be a four mile descent, which will not impress me much. Wow, Penny Ghent sticking out the hill. So that's where I've come from over there. And to get to there, I came from eight mile that way. Things you do for fun. Yeah, for me, a rebel head viaduct. We're inside, but uh, I'm not doing that one. Ingleborough. Trick point about 150 200 metres away. Ingleborough, 16.9 miles, 10 hours basically. Holy crap, I've still got to get back to the car yet. I don't think I'll be doing well inside today. up here, I've just got to get down there see it Rebel Head Viaduct, I don't know if it'll show up on GoPro or not, but basically a big viaduct down there, load of cars just near it, that's where the car is where I left it 
So I can see car from here. Unfortunately, it's still three miles away. And I'm 17.2, so I was, I was still going to be in twenties, which is plenty. I'll be ready when I sit down. I can tell you that much. Good on you if you've done all three in one day. Certainly. Uh, an achievement so I've done Wernside before on his own and now I've done uh, Pennicat so technically I've done three peaks just in the two and a one oh. so it needs kicking Down and then a down thing, this one. Well, that is certainly a down, and even more certainly an up. That's quite an incline, and certainly quite a decline. 17.8 miles, 10 hours, 52 minutes. 18.1 mile, 11 hours, 3 minutes. That away, that away up the way inside and back round to ride up to that way. But that's uh, back to the car for me is two and a half miles, a bit more with you, uh, not straight lining. And uh, if I went up and over the way inside, I think it's about another eight and a half. I think it's four and a half to uh, from some car park to the trick point on the top, and then you've got to come down this side, or in this case, go up it. So, not today. My shoulders are killing. No idea what's in my bag. I took some stuff out. I have carried more stuff than I need, like coat and hats and gloves. Because you never know what it's going to do. It's all been a beautiful sunny day, so obviously I didn't need all that. But you can guarantee if I'd have left it. That's where weather changes. But it does seem a lot heavier than normal. I guess that's the sinkhole. Nineteen point one three miles done, but one point two five miles to go. A straight line. Uh, it's going to be uh, over twenty to get to twenty one, I should think. Which is enough for today. Eleven and a half hours. I've had plenty of stops on this one. Stunning day, though. Stunning evening. Yeah, going off piece, that two and a half mile off piece buggered me up this morning. I went on what was allegedly a path, 
which uh, sort of 500 metres in decided it wasn't and you sort of committed by then so it is what it is but to that certainly yeah zapped me a bit more than it should have done and took me longer to get to uh, Pendigan than uh, it would have done if I had a sick took path I'll know next time happens to the best of us and all that carry on up that hill in front of you, mountain, way inside, eight and a half miles back to the car, or do I turn right here, we're back just over a mile and a half back to the car, I think that decision's definitely been made. Right it is. Twenty miles, twelve hours. A very hard twenty. Riverled viaduct. <clears throat> Penigant. Ingleborough. Way inside. Technically, I've done all three, just not at the same time. So, so I've done Wordside on its own, and then today I've just done Pennigan and Ingleborough, and no way could I have managed uh, Wordside as well. Well, I'm walking back to the car, dead man walking. I'll be glad to dump this bag, and I'll be glad to take that boots off. I am knackered. Knackered than a knackered thing. I see a car for me. Car. <sighs> 21 and a half miles, 12 hours, 36 minutes. Get yeah, grief. <sighs> Dead man walking. Oh, get this bag off. Jesus. 